<laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh, so, 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 Kieran, what are, what, are, what are we talking about? Yeah, so what we'd really like to talk about is um, that recently, obviously, everyone's working from home. We're everyone. Mm-hmm. Most companies are heading off and doing the right thing. And we're very pleased to say that a lot of our clients and customers and partners are you know, very much supporting both online interviews, um, video interviews, especially, um, as well as onboarding in other areas. But I guess for some of our um, consultants coming through, it can be a bit tough preparing for that video interview. It can be a bit weird um, first off. So what we really want to do is from your experience and my experience of doing this a fair bit is actually just talk across and around you know, some of the things to think about when both preparing for the video interview and how to sort of manage yourself and act throughout that interview as well. Yeah. Yeah. Good subject. Because, yeah, it is going to be a new experience just, yeah, for a lot there, of our... A real, um, a real example. I'm talking to you and I've just, had, I've just had an email um, pop up, come onto my screen with a big loud noise in, in my ear, which really put yeah. me off. Yeah, so there well, is... Just, there, there's a real example for you because that's just flew onto the screen. I've got a, the sound in my ear mm. and that, yeah. It threw me. So just yeah, even so, little, the little things like that go, comes on to probably a point that we were going to talk about, which is um, preparation in the sense of sort of you know, I think testing probably Kieran is a is a good thing to to test that you're that you know what you're using the technology mm. for the the video interview or for the the telephone interview is working. Yeah. Well, let's get straight into that. I mean, it's a really good point, right? So I mean, you you mentioned there happened directly on this call. You know when before you do anything, I think it's a case of shutting down every application on your machine, other than the whether it be the web browser or the local client to actually then log into that um, video call interview, like re- remove yeah. all distractions. I think that goes the same for your phone as well. You can yeah. be naturally uh, inclined to have it sitting around staring at you. But even if that's on the last thing you want, even if it's on vibrate, you know, it goes off on the desk next to you or you, you get that distraction, it puts you off that flow. You, you, yeah. you know, stick it on silent, put it away for the duration of the interview. Um, Definitely. And I think another key bit technically is um, bef- don't wait until five minutes before the interview, before you test the audio, before you no. test. Uh, um, you don't know if you're using tools such as GoToMeeting, Skype the Business, Microsoft Teams, whatever it may be. Um, you know, if you leave it at five minutes before, all of a sudden you've now got to download an executable um embed a local client and next thing you know you're late to the meeting and you're technically stressed and uncomfortable yeah. before it even kicks off and there's a, and there's an application as well called uh, whereby.com which i've used before which is um really good um i hope, hope we're allowed to do this on our call that we're all of a sudden plugging so uh, <laughs> <laughs> i don't think they're gonna mind i don't think they're gonna there's mind, lot, gonna mind. There's, lot, there's lots of other good companies available as well um mm-hmm. but yeah, but and that's just a simple link that you create, and then the person that you want to have the call with, you just send them the link, mm. and they and they click the link and they're in there. But yeah, on your point, absolutely test it out. Whatever medium that you're using, test it out with your whether it's a friend, or family member, or a colleague, and just have have a, a short conversation with them. Make sure that the audio is working, can be heard loud and clear, um, mm. the connection is good absolutely that that is a that's a must and do it within good time like you say yeah i mean that's a really good point as well about the audio um one of the things i've been noticing it's got nothing to do with interviews but when you're having uh if you haven't got earphones so i've got my earphones in right now i know that you've got your earbuds in and actually it's really important to have those if you have local speakers and you're using an embedded uh system both within your let's just say laptop and you're using the microphone in that laptop the person on the other end, if they're talking, you can actually end up hearing yourself back and it could be cause quite a bit of interference. So it's actually really good to have just a headset on. Um, some people might think that's a little bit unprofessional, but I think in these current times and understanding, and even if you explain it before you get on the call, in the fact that I just want to ensure that there's no reverb and that you can hear me clearly, I think it's just a, it's a good good thing to actually broach with your interviewer or interviewee as well, actually. Yeah, and on on the headphones front, this might sound crazy, but make sure you've got just as a, a fallback a pair of the old fashioned headphones with the um, the normal insert because obviously a lot of headphones now, especially for iPhone users, are obviously designed to go in the bottom of the phone. That's and, a really good point. Yeah, and, and and you can be caught out. Um, but yeah, I I, th- I don't know about you, Kieran. Um, for someone more technical, I think that if you're going to do a video call. Um, of some description video interview 
I think some I, I've known some people before to do it via their phone. And I just think that it's, if possible, should always do it on your machine rather than trying uh, to do it via a phone. I, mean, I don't know. I, what do you think? Is that, is that, up, up, is that questionable? Uh, do you know what? Not everyone's got that device available, right? Um, I think it's you're trying to be fair to all. I think I think it's just make sure you don't hold it. <laughs> I yeah, think yeah. You, you don't want to end up with motion sickness at any point as an interviewer. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> if you've got a stable block to put it on and don't leave it on a can or a, anything that could fall over, it's just going to be off-putting during the interview. But yeah, you know, I, I think we've got to be fair to everyone, whether they have devices or not. Well, I think it's fair to yeah. say most people are going to have a mobile device these days um you're um, right i should i should be saying working for a tech company that we should be able to work any device anywhere <laughs> anytime rather than saying you need a laptop to do this so you're, no. you're right yeah so i think we've um covered off a lot of points in terms of making sure your tech is right um and that you've tested it um and probably also it's fair to say another important point is just where you're doing it i think it's important to you know be free of distractions um and so and be in a nice quiet area as well i think that's i think that's important Yes. No, I mean, not that you could do it right now, but a coffee shop is always a bad place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really good point. I mean, I know you and I are both are locked in our rooms at the moment uh, for some peace and quiet. But yeah, it's a really good point. Yeah. Um, I've. Uh, so. Okay. Go on. Sorry. Yeah. Well, no, no, I was going to go straight into, I mean, one of the things that we always discuss with uh, all of our consultants going for any interviews anywhere is that notepad and pen situation. Nothing changes, yes. right? Absolutely. Good point. Um, he says, as I hold a pen with a notepad in front of me. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's something that from when I've been in the position as the as the interviewer, um, mm. it's something that I look for straight away, personally, to see if they've got, um, I think, a notepad and pen, bottle of water. Um, yeah. it's just yeah you should always and this also goes from not just interviewing but obviously when in a from a could have been in a sales position just any meetings you go on whether they're formal or informal always be prepared to be able to write something down even if it's a very small notebook that can fit inside a pocket um, always have it because you know you've got to be ready to to be able to make notes I, I believe yeah. that's a de definitely uh, and even even for interview purposes even having a you know, a, a copy of your CV to hand is is probably um, a good idea because they, they, they're going to have it. And often it sometimes could be forgotten that you do loads of pre preparation for an interview, but then you don't realise that the in the interviewer is going to be, have looked, probably looked at your CV and be uh, based some of the, a lot of their questions on your CV. So it's, a, it's important to make sure that you can refer to that CV and that you've actually looked at what's on it. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think that. Going back to the notepad and pen, I yeah. think we're talking about laptops and mobile devices. Um, you know, don't be tempted to have uh, a notepad up on your screen during the interview. And don't be tempted to type. Uh, I just think you, you're meant to be engaging with the interviewer. If I start seeing people typing, and it's unfortunate that sometimes this thought process comes along, but you wonder, well, what exactly are you doing there? You know, whereas if you're in a room, you'd see someone writing something down or it's fair enough. If you, I guess if you engage and say, look, I'm, I'm just taking notes, if that's OK, I think as long as you broach it, I don't know your thoughts on that. But yeah, I, I, I think um, it's definitely all part of, of being prepared is to have a, a notepad and pen. And I think the interviewer is going to completely appreciate that. One point I've written down here, actually, about things we're going to talk about is just being human. I mean, you know, don't. You don't want to come. You don't want to come across like someone who is so over prepared or scripted things to say that you all mm. of a sudden become you become unnatural, ungenuine, or, or not human. Because I don't think that that's a good impression to make. And it, so I think even even someone saying, "Oh, by the way, do you mind if I make notes?" I mean, what's you can say that just so that the person, because it's a bit of a weird, you know, it's it's different to a face to face interview. I think it's fine mm. to let the person know just in case it's out of shot what you're doing. So it might look weird. You can say to them, oh, by the way, just so you know, I'm making notes. Yeah, so, no, that's yeah. a fair point. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I think that your point around being natural um, and trying not to change the way you inter you would interview anywhere else. I mean, you see you and I, we're moving in and out of the camera. We're, you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so, I, I just actually caught myself kind of just being quite relaxed in my, because yeah. I was going to start talking about appearance. Then I was just sort of, you know, leaning like this. And I thought, oh, hang on. Now I'm going to talk about being 
posture and uh, <laughs> yeah so yeah well I was, there, you could always just lean back on the chair or you know. yeah well yeah coming on to the point of things that are just um that are givens regardless of whether it's a video interview or a face-to-face interview but 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 for video yeah, you still you, you still want to be smart and uh and, and obviously the, the appearance is still key mm. and i think actually it's good that you mentioned uh phone call and audio there i mean we we kind of stopped on the technical stuff a little bit but it's also considering the fact that not everyone's bandwidth will be up to the minimum to actually hold a decent video so if you do yeah. get that always be prepared to switch camera off both side and go to audio yeah uh, which is a fair point. point um technical things aside it's then moving on to just you know i think things that are important in an interview anyway um mm. and you know there was someone i'll give her a shout out someone called lisa Dittmar, um who is a project manager, um, a senior project manager, and, and also a women in tech advocate. Um, mm. And she actually did a talk, uh, a tech talk at our old academy, at Sparta's old academy in Richmond. Two things to focus on that the interviewer will be thinking, two key questions that, that the interviewer will want answering. And that's one, um, do I think this person can do the job? And two, would I like to work with this person? I think, and I always say that if you can, if you can just nail those two things, you, you you're not doing much wrong, or you're you're doing a lot right. Because I think, one, with the you know, can this person do the job? That's down to your more technical preparation. That's obviously preparing um, on the training you've done, or talking about the previous role you've done, and being able to articulate the work you've done. Because it's all well and good being able to do the job and you knowing that you can do it, but you've got to be able to actually articulate it. Um, mm. and talk about it. I always always use the example of a driving test that you know um, where you might be able to drive a car and you might know that and know that you can drive a car competently but but you've got to pass a test and to pass the test you've got to drive very differently to maybe how you would drive out on the road but obviously to be able to drive legally you've got to pass the test and I think that's I think that can be related to interviews because the job you're going for, you might be able to do it, right? If you just dropped into mm-hmm. the interview, whether it's, you know, going for a, a, a developer role, you might be, might be a good programmer and you can code and yeah, great, no problem. But you've got to pass the interview. And so you've, that's what you're preparing for. You're preparing to get through that. And so that's why it's so important to be able to articulate the work you've done and talk about it, talk about how you did it, why you did it. Um, sometimes that you can over prepare or you can be, um, literally revising so much that you're scripting lines and you can I think interviewers can will notice that straight away and yeah. you, and, and all of a sudden it doesn't become genuine because remember these pe- people interviewing you regardless of what level they're at how senior they are they're still you know they're, they're still humans they'll have they're per, they'll have personal lives they'll be going back home and have their own commitments and they'll have bills and you know and so you know I think it's important to just be someone that that person would yeah. would li- actually like to work with because it's, but you're likely to be being interviewed by your line manager or the person uh, managing you. And yeah, you want to show to them, not that you can just do the job technically and, and competently, but also would I, you know, would I look forward to seeing this person every day? Would I like to have a chat with them? Would they uh, fit well into the team? So then they're just two really good things to, to, uh, to fall back on. Yeah, no, absolutely. And as you say, I don't think it matters whether that's face. I mean, that's a tip for any interview, right? Um, doesn't matter whether it's online or not. Um, cool. Well, look, mate, I think you know, we I don't think we can cover much more, buddy. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, the only. Yeah, I think they, that was I noted a few things down. and We pretty much covered them, although I laboured that last point. That would probably be another point to make. Don't don't. That probably another point to make. Don't ramble. There you go. Which I <laughs> have, have just. I've, what I've done is I've showed you how not to do it. <laughs> um, so that you can then take that uh you can take that pearl of wisdom with you um you and Snippets. don't do it like that be very be very be very succinct and get to the point <laughs> which i didn't but, um, yeah well you know but i hope that some people watch um, what we've been talking about and find it useful